I should introduce myself, Mr. Meacher. My name is Apostolic Rastel, Captain Apostolic Rastel of the Matrix Investigation Corps. I inclined my head and waited. The world was full of sinister-sounding establishments these days, and although I had never heard of the Matrix Investigation Corps, I did not intend to put myself at a disadvantage by saying so. We stood looking at each other, summing one another up. Captain Rastel was a considerable man, untidy perhaps, but prepossessing, strongly built with being bulky, a man perhaps still in his twenties, and with that extraordinary face that looked as if it could have regarded the end of the world undismayed. He smiled and moved behind his screen to emerge dragging an object like a trunk. This he stood on its end. The trunk was locked with some sort of a combination lock. Rastel worked it, staring at me somewhat grimly as he listened to the tumbler's click. You had better look at the inside of this before I offer any explanation, he said. He opened the trunk. What I saw there drew me impulsively forward. I took a good look, and a horrible faintness overcame me. I staggered, and he caught me, holding me as I recovered. Inside the trunk was a small chair, a stool with a backrest. It was fringed with various instruments that reminded me vaguely of the drills and other accessories that stand by a dentist's chair. But it was what lay behind the chair that caught me off guard. I saw myself reflected from a screen that covered the back of the trunk. The anonymous room was also reflected there, if reflected is the word, its dimensions cramped and twisted, so that it looked as if the figures of Rastel and myself stood on the outside rather than the inside of a cube. The effect was as if I peered into a distorting mirror, but this was no mirror, for I found myself staring distractedly at my own profile. What is it? You are an intelligent man, Mr. Meacher, and since I am in a hurry, I hope that already this sight has suggested to you that there are departments of life which are a mystery to you, and into which you have not peered, or cared to peer. There are other earths than this one of yours, Mr. Meacher. I come from such a one, and I invite you to follow me back to it now. I backed away without dignity, sitting down on a chair and staring up at him. It would be tedious here, and a little shameful, to recount the terrors, hopes, and suppositions that fled through my mind. After a moment, I calmed myself enough to listen to what he was saying 